The Internal Revenue Service says it is investigating the release of wealthy Americans' tax information. The sector ProPublica published a report saying it obtained IRS information showing uh, how multi-billionaires such as Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, Michael Bloomberg pay very little in income tax in cases, uh, in some cases, actually, guys, nothing. Now, we talked about this yeah. no. yesterday. This is sort of part two of the story. Part one, of course, is the numbers themselves. As you said, Jim, you know, Rick Santelli had a question for me, I think, and you made the point. It's it's avoidance. It's not evasion. Right. And, and people, avoidance is what you want to do. The question is, is there anything that can be done to capture some of this incredibly increasing wealth so that there is at least a sense of fairness amongst those who would argue that it's not fair? Well, Jesse Eisner's old friend was on Squawking just an unbelievably good interview. Right, Jesse that, started at the street. He started oh at the street. Gosh, my first time, yeah. one of my first hires, along with Danny Caluruso, who works with us now. And, and it was rather, for, the reporting was amazing to have this stuff. But he said, listen, we can't, he, that, it's his job to tell the story. Uh, I, am, I was shocked yesterday, unless I missed it, that, that uh, Senator Warren didn't come out and say, well, this is how we have to have some sort of well, surtax. Tax. Yeah. A surtax. I mean, I think a surtax is needed. In other words, uh, in, uh, in the Vietnam War, uh, uh, Lyndon Johnson came up with a phone tax. Out of nowhere, they charged you a, a phone tax right. in order to pay for the war. I, I would say if I were running for whatever, that it's time to have a surtax on billionaires, not the 5% of their assets. That's wrong. But if you pay nothing and you're a billionaire, bingo, there's a little box. I mean, just like the $4,000, what, the child claim for a basis? Yeah, basis. Yeah. Um, there should be a box. You can't. Wait. There has to be a surtax on billionaires. It's the way to do it. Uh, the billionaires are going to hate me now, too, along with the mean people. You're making friends all I don't the even, I, there's yeah. more people I don't is, care is about. It, is it a, a surtax on what? Are you trying to judge their wealth? Can, a, I mean, I don't. A, a surtax on, on, on whatever gains that they have had But that year. the thing is, they're not, they're not, they're not booking any gains. Well, no. I mean, well, you know, that's, they're borrowing billions well, then, against then, their stock Position. Right, but they can. The they, interest on which, by the way, I think is tax deductible. Well, well okay, well, that's. Well, look, avoidance, uh, first of all, is everybody's right. And matter of fact, the code says you should. I know. You should try to no, avoid listen, it. If so I'm. I'm a straight W2 employee, I'm sure I'd try and figure it should. out too. But I, I just thought that if you made. And we all know these people as billionaires. So I think that, ch they, that the tax code should be changed to say, listen, if you are a billionaire, we are going to take a search tax on whatever way you tried to get income. To you, right? Oh, come on, David! I'm trying to. No, I think it's. I think you're, it's all a discussion headed in an interesting direction. The Times, for example, suggests that your income tax at the federal level is public, the way property taxes are. That'd be great. Um, and as for Isinger, he did argue that these unrealized gains can, in a way, be counted as income if you're yes. operating outside the tax system. Yes. Here's what Jesse said. The ultra wealthy are completely outside of the system and their wealth and all of the power and all of the means that their wealth confers is completely, almost entirely outside of the system. And the question is whether that system is working. Right. As for the disclosure, right. uh, Andrew asked him if this was uh, information he thought the public should know. He said, I think it's in the public interest to know that the world's wealthiest person paid no federal income. Uh, I, I completely agree. It was unbelievable reporting. Uh, uh, Jesse, I don't know how he got it. If that's really the, sub got if it. That's the subject of the investigation, is how he got to, it. I, I even, you know, was it hacked somehow? But the IRS hacked and then it provided to them, or was it a leak wow. from the IRS directly? There are wow. significant penalties if somebody there is actually. Doing but that, I, I, uh, I and think there's going to be more reporting to come. They got an enormous amount of data, and and so there's going to be more. Well, stories shouldn't there be seen. outrage? I mean, I think there's a lot of people who don't make a lot of money in this country. Listen, and... We've been sitting at this desk discussing the tax system for years amongst ourselves. Jim Stewart has always joined us because he's been a real student of that. One of your friends, and James we, B. And what you know. Meanwhile, the golf just keeps going, right? Well, I was just suggesting you know, because I was listening to Jesse things. and thinking we've got to find some way to just say. Like there's an alternative minimum tax if you're a billionaire. And just find it. Meanwhile, David, I'm trying meanwhile, to... Meanwhile, you listen to Robert you Frank, the top 1% do pay more in uh, as a percent of the overall revenue than their percent oh, of... Right. Than their... What? No, they it's do. just like, There are a lot of people who watch the show who say, listen, when I get to be a billionaire, I don't want to pay any taxes. <laughs>
when I get to be right? The people, the Wall Street mean people, that's, you think they're out there to be thousands? When you become a billionaire, you don't have to pay taxes. Right. <laughs> and it's like, you know, I think that there should be another way. I'd like to get some more money out of these people. But. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.